folks, I answer a lot of questions about computer graphics and a lot of computer questions, and sometimes there are very simple answers and very simple questions, but there's never too uh, silly or simple a question. And constantly I'm being asked from time to time, it, it just keeps coming up, how to constrain an image. You make it, when you go to shape an image, like in Microsoft Word here I have open, and it stay proportional. Now, I know a lot of you computer folks out there who are very savvy, that's no big deal at all for you to, uh, to do that. But, but to a lot of folks, they still don't quite grasp exactly what you do to, cons to con constrain the proportions of an image. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to insert an image, I'm going to insert a picture. So I'm going to pick one of these, like this barn here from Western Piedmont Community College, which is close by. And what happens, a lot of times people will start grabbing one like this, and you'll see it starts to get, get squatty or too tall. Let me undo that, I'm going to do Control z is the same as undo. You can do an undo, Control z is a nice little little shortcut for that. Typically though, if you grab one of these sides like this, it's going to constrain, right? This is a nice thing that the new versions of Microsoft Word are doing. Now, uh, if you have an older version of Microsoft Word, if you grab one of the corners, it might not constrain uh, automatically to the right, what we call dimensions, okay? Of course, this here is rotate. I'm not going to do that. We're going to undo that, Control Z. But, in the older versions, perhaps, what you do is you just get over one of the corners and you hold your shift key down. I'm going to do it, even though it's unnecessary in this one, and then you pull. So the, the key is to get over this, not, not, be, not be clicking or anything, just get over it, hover over it, uh, put your shift key down, and then grab the corner and pull. And then it, does it, con, uh, it constrains it. Now, once again, it does it either way now in the newer versions of uh, Microsoft Word. Okay, so let's let's look at how it works in other programs. Let's go here. This is uh, Adobe InDesign. And the thing that's cool about this little shortcut is it works for almost everything, right? Uh, any program. So here I've got a box I just pulled in here. Now if I want to, co to constrain the size of that box here in, in this particular program, I'm going to grab the selection tool here. I'm going to go over one of the corners. I'm just hovering over it again. Now, if, now in this program, it's not like the uh, Word program. If I pull up, See, it's going to go off to the side. It's going to uh, go to a different proportion. So I'm going to do a control Z. But if I go over this and I hold my shift key down and I go up, then look, it doesn't matter where my mouse goes, it, it, it constrains it. So let's put an image into this. When I'm going to do a control D. So for this one, I'm going to pick this Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas. And we'll say open. And it's a way bigger image than, than it fit, than fits in this hole. I'm going to do a right click on this. I'm going to do fitting. I'm going to say... Uh, Fill uh, fit content to fit. I say fit content proportionally, and there we go. So now what I've got is I've got a uh, an image inside the box of this Eiffel Tower out in Las Vegas, a fake Eiffel Tower. But if I want to const if I want to size that, I should be able to grab this corner, hold the shift key down, and pull it. Now what happened? That sized the box, but uh, that that's okay in this particular program. That's the way this, this program works because they know you might want to pull this image around inside. If I do that again, say fitting, I say fit, uh, fill frame proportionally, it will constrain it out. In this particular program, you have actually a tool here called the scale tool. And you go over here and you grab one of the corners, hold your shift key down, it allows you to pull that. So this program just works a little differently, but still the same way. Now if I do it, if I grab this and I don't hold the shift key down, look what happens, right? Do a control Z again. So it works in different programs a little differently, but if I hold the shift key down, it's going to do that. Now the side ones, the side ones always, if I, now if I hold the shift key on a side one and try it, look, it still doesn't do it. It still is going to squash it up, right? If I do uh, the bottom one, I'm going to pull it up, squash it, and I'm going to hold the shift key again, pull down, it just squashes up. But it's always these corner ones. If you hold over the corner one and you hold the shift key down, then you can constrained proportionally. I'll even go into a, a program like Photoshop. Here's another Vegas picture, but let's say, the reason I've got that here is I'm going to do an overlay on it. Let's say I want to put another image over the top. I'm going to go get an image here. Hang on a second. I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to get to Julian Price Lake up in Boone, <laughs> Boone area or Blowing Rock area. Do a control A, control C. I'm going to copy that. Now I'm going to paste it over the top of this image and there it is. So let's say I want to size this image. Now this program again is a little different, but I'm going to say uh, 
edit, transform, and scale. Now, once again, if I were to grab this and not hold the shift key down, it would go all kinds of different ways. See, I'm going to do a control Z. So I'm going to grab the corner, I'm going to hold the shift key down, and there it pulls. It pulls in a constrained way. So folks, that's the secret of that little tip. Uh, I know it's, it's simple to a lot of people, but I get asked this all the time. I'm kind of used as like tech support here uh, where I work. So I just thought you'd find that interesting. It's always a matter of getting it selected, whatever program you're working in. Uh, it, it's selected per the parameters. On Word, you just click on it and it gives you the little handles. But it's always the corner handles and holding down the shift unless they've already built that kind of functionality in. Hope that helps someone. Peace to all.